Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Ancient Warrior here. Let's talk about taste deprivation. I was talking to some young folks yesterday and he's a real smart guy. No if ands, or buts about it. He works with computers, he does all this stuff. So we were sitting discussing why I prep. And I told him that, that I'm not preparing for any certain catastrophe. I'm just preparing for the one that hits me next. Whether it's unemployment or a nuclear showdown with China, Russia, or North Korea, or Iran, or, or a tornado coming through my town, or a blizzard in the middle of the winter. You know, folks, one of the big things I, I talk about to most people is just being prepared and stocking up what your family likes to eat most of the time. Now, if your family's vegetarians, they do have air dried, freeze dried, uh, and canned vegetables for you. If you're a uh, carnivore guys they got all kinds of canned meats for you out there and they've got freeze dried meats too that you just add a little water throw on the grill it, it, and you're done the freeze dried meats can become very pricey And then if you're an omnivore like me, I never met a meal I didn't like, then you're in better shape. Because you can eat just about anything. But the biggest problem most people have is they stock up on foods. They stock up on freeze-dried, MREs, whatever. But they don't stock up on salt, pepper, spices. You know, there right there is the biggest problem. People don't stock up on different types of spices. You know, when I cook a, when I cook a pot of beans, I like to throw a little, a little bacon grease in, a little chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, and that's only if I don't have fresh stuff to throw in there. You know, I had a friend one day accuse me I was making a stew than a pot of beans. See, if you cook beans, ladies and gentlemen, without onion, garlic, some kind of some kind of grease, grease from either bacon or ham or even hamburger, you end up with beans that just taste like dirty water. And they're not, you know, people won't eat them long. They'll start throwing them away, wasting their food. I also like, you know, I got, I acquired here this summer powdered jalapeno. Oh my dear God. Powdered jalapeno. I gave some to a friend of mine. She sprinkled it on her popcorn and I thought she was going to die 
because she'd used so much. That little scoop I handed her of jalapeno was the equivalent to almost a jar of jalapenos. It's fun to watch people who are not used to doing things like that, using stuff like that. But she did set me down and teach me how to make tortillas. We're working on various other things. Because if you cook, folks, you need to learn to cook various things. Don't be a one-trick pony. But back to taste deprivation. Most people starve to death due to the fact that they're eating the same thing over and over every day and their taste buds die. That's the reason I tell you to have salt, pepper, sugar, jalapeno, you know, powdered jalapeno, powdered, you know, Parmesan cheese, uh, pepper, turmeric, rosemary, all in powdered form so that you could sprinkle it in your food. You know, the biggest killer is going to be starvation if we ever have a massive, a massive uh, economic collapse to where buying and selling just ain't going to happen. So with that said, folks, please, please, please buy spices. Go to Walmart. Go to the Dollar General. Big Lots. Uh, Family Dollar. Wherever, whatever you have in your area. And buy the cheap little containers of spices. And stick them in a you know, get you a tote market, a small tote that says um, onion and garlic and go that way. Because folks, those can also become trading, become bartering tools. Especially salt. Salt's got so many versatile uses. If you live in an area where you can get jars of honey and keep them in a cool, dark, dry place, honey never goes bad, especially raw honey. Now, I can't say too much on this pasteurized stuff. We've gotten to the point to where we, we pasteurize every dang thing to death. So, folks, welcome back to Free America. Become a stable citizen of Free America. And to be a stable citizen of Free America, you need to have at least, at least a six-month to a year supply of food stored back. you got to be prepared for the worst. Now, we'll, the next video will probably be one on, on grocery stores and stocking up from there. All right? Well, have a blessed day. Welcome back to Free America. This is the Ancient Warrior. I'm out.